Salama, it's a bit windy, but we are going on the boat to Nozue to see some seaweed farms. We're going to have some lunch um, on the island, and then we're going to go off and have a look at how the seaweed is being grown here in Andabado. over in Nosy Bay and we also got to go and chill out while we digested our food in this little kind of sand pit area which was so cool um, it was like covered with a nice blanket cover thing and it was just really comfortable nice and cool because of the breeze and then we got back into the boat and uh, drove off for a tiny bit to the seaweed farm so this seaweed is different from like the seaweed we think about in our heads um, it's thicker and bubbly um, you don't eat it or well, you can if you want but it's a bit salty um, but it's not grown to be eaten it's grown to be used as a thickening agent so they put it in toothpaste ice cream makeup uh, things like that so you're probably eating seaweed in some kind of form in your food right now which is pretty cool they grow it on a line and they wait for it to get really big I think it takes something about 20 to 30 days and then they harvest it and take it all off um, and then they have to dry it in the sun and then they weigh it and depending on how heavy it is they get a certain amount of money for that though they don't get a lot of money from it it's an alternative aquaculture project and it's good for the environment because people are doing something other than fishing and putting a strain on the environment. Another project that they also do along the coast in Andavadok area, this whole Tuliar stretch, is sea cucumber farming. And sea cucumbers are very, very big in Asia. So they grow different types of sea cucumbers um, all along this coastline in pens. And um, once they get really, really big, they take them out, uh, take all the guts out and I think dry them and sell them to places like China who will eat them in their food. And they don't eat them here in Andavada so it's a good way to get money <laughs> by farming the sea cucumbers. And this is mainly because that on land it's very difficult to grow anything. The land is quite dry and barren like hardly anything will grow here so it makes more sense to just go use the sea. That's why we have so many fishing villages all across this coastline um, and it makes more sense to have aquaculture instead of agriculture. Unfortunately there have been some problems um, over the past few weeks and one of the farms has been completely poisoned by some people using poison further up uh, and it's kind of washed into the pens killing all the sea cucumbers which is very very sad and it's a major setback but it's a very, very good project and it helps a lot of people because they go and learn how to do all this stuff and set up their own pens slash lines for seaweed and get an income from it. So on days where they can't go fishing because of the weather or something, they can still have something to feed themselves because it's definitely a hand-to-mouth kind of life here. Whatever they fish, they eat. Whatever they don't eat, they sell. And that money they use for themselves, either for fishing or something else. It was really interesting to learn all about that. Um, I will have links in down in the description where you can go find out more about these if you're really interested about it. I was really, really interested. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, let me know and I will try to answer them. And I will see you in the next video as always. Bye. Thank you.